Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we began this new, uh, this new scenario. Which I already forgot the name of. So sue me. Anyway, it's time to move on. Turns out there's some Nephilim-like creatures. Whose names I almost, I also already happen to forget about. And, uh, well... We need to figure out what's going on. We may be able to find some clues in Stracton, so let's head there. You run across a small patrol of guards. They ask you to come closer to them. Their leader leans forward to you. Let me give you some advice. Riverall Province is under attack. It's not wise to just move around like this. Go to safety, which is in the neighboring province. After that, the soldiers leave you. That must be River Rod. What's this? Fort Filbert West, Stracton River Rod Border South, Vaughton Pleasantville Border North, Filberton Empire HQ North. Well, Stracton is where we want to go, but we can explore around elsewhere here, I think. This small remote hut, once with a lovely garden all around it, was ransacked, burned down, and abandoned. Doesn't look as if it will collapse any moment now. You could investigate it. Sure. You walk in the house. A smell of rats and fish hangs in the air. It's disgusting. Soon, however, you find scratch marks on the walls. It looks Nephil-like, but bigger. After investigating the house, you decide to go to the garden, where soon enough you find some bits of fur. Whoever was here, they were cat-like. Which means those... whatever they were called. Yeah, I'm sometimes bad with that, I know. The farms to the south of the raided village you can see from where you are standing seem to be as burnt down as the village. The crops are destroyed, and most of the farmhouses seem to be nothing more than burnt wood. Okay, that must be the border. Oh yeah, that's the border. Come on, come on! Yeah, that's... We're not gonna be able to go anywhere that way. Okay, we've got a river there. Looks like we found the town. God almighty, this village is even more damaged than when you first came here, but got severely wounded. You look around. One of the houses looks a bit peculiar with a hydra nest in it. Maybe you should look if there's anything in that nest. Hydras are often known to search for all kinds of trinkets and store them in their nests. We're going to- Oh! Hello, rats! Please die, rats. Thank you. Like that, hydra! Which died surprisingly easily. Ow. And I stepped out. Didn't mean to. Yes, I know how to do all these things. Yeah, look around the whole area here first. I do. Flame Hydra. These creatures are very weak, though. Oh, that snake. I didn't see it. Shielded or weakened? Oh, those kinds of rats. Furs aren't that valuable. I don't even know if there's any real towns around here. The hydra nest must be in there. We'll investigate it in a minute. Oh, hello! Well, this 
this town that building didn't survive long. There isn't much many buildings in here actually. You find a scroll in this nest. The scroll seems to contain valuable information. This should be very handy. Maybe you could try to find somebody that has some use for it. Oh, I think I know someone who could be used to that. This is the border of Riverod. Through here, you can leave and try to con continue your traveling. But do you really want to do that? If you've deposited any money in the Banca Riverod, you might must first go back to Vaughton and get your money back, as you won't be get it back while leaving the scenario. Banca Riverod. That is good news for Riverod. Many people will thank you for this stay. Huh. A bank. Interesting. Anyway, we have some information here to hand out. Not hand out, but give back. Down here. We found something. It's a piece of paper. A piece of paper? You show it to him. Interesting. It says something about creation bots. Take it to the wizard in Pleasantville. He'll know what to do with it. Alright, I guess Pleasantville is where we are to go. Let's get to that sign and see what it says. Alright. Uh, Vaughton and Pleasantville to the north. So I think that's this way. Yeah, it must be this way. Standing at the edge of this pith, you can, pit, you can stare far down it and see a lot of black. Strange, though, that such a pit is here. Stranger, even, that there's smoke coming out. Concerning, indeed. Oh, it looks like the... Oh, no, there's actually a path there. What does this sign say, anyway? South Filberton, North Empire HQ. The sign has been defaced a bit, but you can still read enough of it to understand what it says. Yeah, we're not going towards that at all. Oh! Hello. We can investigate this hill tower. Sure, why not? Didn't expect that, but sure. You slowly begin your climb up the small guard tower. It may be well worth it, though, as the sight might be quite beautiful from up there. Can't really imagine what it is like to be sitting out here. These archers must be sitting ducks for the Sonarity. Sonority, that's it, that's what it was. You have a quick chat with his archer. Above all, you notice how nervous he is. He is constantly looking around for danger and you can't prove him wrong. He is absolutely right to be scared. Same thing with the other one, probably the third as well. Alright. You know what, I like that. It's not really needed, but... I like it. Alright, so... You will come at a crossroads. You stand and look around. After a short while of having had a small rest, you think you might it might be time to go. At that moment, though, you hear screams. You look around and see eye to eye with Sinarti. Five Sinartis and a Sinarti mage. Well, we are strong. Divine fire, sure. Okay, we're powerful enough to deal with them easily. Really need to get to that mage, though. Spray. I think he must be uh, encumbered a bit. Right, he needs more defense. I need to get that for him soon. Will 
Will you stop running? Thank you for stopping the running. Man, this Sinardi mage really likes summoning. There we go. That was a good explosion. But either way, we got through that. Nothing of value. When you pierce the last Sinardi skull with your sword, pull it out and clean it, you look around and notice that there is some broken wood lying around and some dried up blood. You can only imagine that these Sinardi were raiding merchants. It's a good thing you stopped it then. I'd say so, yeah. Alright, recover some of our energy. Alright, no idea which path we're supposed to take here. Empire HQ e East, Fort Filbert, Filberton, Stracton South, Vaughton, Pleasantville, and Summertown North. So north is where we're supposed to go. The sign has been almost completely defaced by the wind and rain, but you can still read the words Thralny and Castle, along with an arrow pointing to the south. Oh, we ain't going there. But Pleasantville is to the north. Good to know. The sign has been defaced by cat-like claws. You tremble upon a burnt-down farm. While, while you stare at the blackened remains of the farmland, you can't help but hope the occupants got away in time. Agreed. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So this was, once was a glorious town. Damage. Everywhere. It's horrendous. You slowly walk to the town. This was once called Summertown, this pile of useless stone. this sign say? The sign has been almost completely defaced. Well, I'm pretty sure we know it's westwards is, uh, defaced by cat -like. Westwards is where these creatures are coming from. So, further north is where we need to go. So let's do so. You run across a small patrol of guards. He asks you to come closer to them. Their leader leans forward to you. Let me give you some advice. Okay, it's the same thing. Riverrod Province is under attack. Advice, go away. Vaught North, Pleasantville West, Fort Filbert and Stracton Empire H... Okay, everything else to the south. Well, Pleasantville is where we're supposed to go. I can see the capital, though, and it, it looks very nice. into that Oh, a small bridge. Nice. But anyway, Pleasantville is where we want to go. We were told that's where we should go first. And this appears to be it. Same thing with the patrol of guards telling us to leave. Seems like we found Pleasantville, though, so let's investigate. And then we'll go to the capital. So, first things first, Pleasantville. Around the outside of the town, as I do. I wonder what this town is like. Oh, hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. There's a corpse lying here. You wouldn't know who it is, but it seems he has some nice trinkets with him. Or not. Died though. Okay, in we shall go. If the race is bed and breakfast, please go to the office. We go around this way. This shop smells like fresh bread, and everywhere food is stacked along the walls. It seems as being as this shop will be a real treat for you. May we buy some food? We can. How are you doing? She nods approvingly. 
I'm fine, thanks. Very kind of you to ask that of a normal townswoman. Everything smells lovely. A smile folds in her face. Why, how kind of you to say that. Want to buy something? It's not expensive. Appreciate it, but we don't need anything at the moment. As usual, I look around outside for... Oh! Holy hill. You climb on top of the platform. An altar, blood, and a beautiful priestess, together with a charming pile of skulls and a stone box that is all you find on it. You see a priestess. She stands there on a sort of platform holding a big knife. Just getting ready for the ceremony. What services do you provide? I can teach you some things I've learned, but it isn't much. I can also heal you if it is necessary. Could learn us some of your fantastic and very interesting spells. I can learn up terror and enduring barrier, but I don't need them. Okay. Good to know that that's where we go to heal. In front of you stands an old house. The wind and rain have turned the once lovely old cottage into a grim, an old grim building. You think you see light inside, so it is inhabited. You think you saw an old lady inside. Maybe you should ask the mayor about this. Maybe it has some special things about th about it. You see a pale old woman, probably a witch. She is busy with what looks like making potions. What can I do for a band of adventurers? What are you doing? I'm making potions. Care to buy some? Sure. Oh, they have energy elixirs. Actually, yes. I would very much like this. Thank you very much. Always worth it to get energy elixirs. This looks like a temple. Yep, Cult of the Sacred Stone. Oh, goody, a cult. The amount of people and such that are very ominous that are around here is very concerning. Can't talk to him. Alright. Oh, that just closes the gates. Okay. Let's take a look here at... What is this? City Hall! Perfect! This is a town hall. It is quite big for such a small town. Two rows of three imposing pillars stand alongside each of the walls. On a heightening, you see the mayor sitting. A heightening? On the throne, a big man is sitting. The robe he is wearing makes him makes him look like a king. Well, he's the mayor, all right. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I must have fallen asleep. So what can I do for you, lads? His rather blunt way of speech surprises you. What's that rather crumbled house in the northwest corner? That house? Oh, strange things happening there. Some people even say they heard voices. Voices? Look, I'd rather not talk about it. Is it difficult to run this place? No, actually it's dull. So boring and tedious. Dull, so dull. Before I can explain how really very dull it was, you quickly ask another question. Are there some quests to do? Well, of course! As soon as I find one, I'll pass it on to you. One of the guards at the entrance gives you a what are you talking about, this place is too dull for quests sort of look. You'll have to live with the idea that this town has not many on to offer. But there must be something to do here. Of course there is something to do here, but simply no quests. Gods, they're starting to irritate me. Lead them out, will you? Well, so far for this, Mayor. The guards stand beside you and walk you out. Well done. What's this? A wizard is walking in circles in a small laboratory. Oh, where could I have left my book? Oh, hello! What book are you looking for? Shaking his head, he says, Oh, it's a very important book. It tells all kinds of difficult arcane spells. If the Sonati have it, it would be a disaster. Don't worry. Who are the Sonati? Big, furry, vicious monsters. They wear helmets and fight with bows and swords. He takes a small leather-bounded scroll and unrolls it. It contains a small drawing. It's mainly the magi and priests who are dangerous, I think. Though their leaders and archers are also quite strong. Beware of them. Sounds like some sort of Nephil. He smiles at you and nods. Oh, 
You are absolutely right. They look like Nephilim and their cousins in Nefarim, but the Sinarti are much bigger and more vicious. If they would have my book, it would be a disaster. What disaster? Because of one book? Be careful what you say. That book isn't just any book. If they get it, they could feed us. Their magi and priests aren't just nice pussycats. They're evil. To confirm that, he shows you one of his robes, bearing a large bull. Are those spellcasters really dangerous? Even more dangerous than normal Nefarim shamans? Much worse. The Sonarti have a very highly evolved civilization. They can write, experiment, and talk. The experiments worry me the most. If they start experimenting with the book, evil magic will come through. So what's in the book that is so special? I'm afraid I can't discuss that. That is disappointing, but not entirely surprising. What things do you normally do? His mouth forms a warm smile. I do mostly research, but I also tend to travel. Tell me about your research. I mainly do research on spells. The last one was written in the book. And as I told you, if the Sonata have it, it would be a tragedy. Yes, we know. You told us about that book about four times already. That is because it is so important. Hold on. More to say. What spell is it you are doing research on? That is a bit secret. So I don't know exactly how it works, I wouldn't say a thing about it. He moves his finger across his mouth as if closing a zipper. Looks rather pathetic. Where'd you travel? I was in many places. One was the Lorem before the plagues came. Uh, I still remember how it was. God, it was beautiful. Stefan not I really ruined it. Even the Isle of Begale. I have, or had maybe, a sister there, you know. Her name is... He begins to cry a bit. You leave him alone. It's obvious that sister meant much to him. You don't dare to think about what might have happened to her. Don't worry, we'll search for the book. Oh, that would be fantastic! If you find the book, immediately bring it to me. I suspect the Sonarte and their fort to the south have stolen the book. He nods to you and turns away for a moment. As soon as he turns back. Yeah, sorry, we weren't finished. We found this in some attacked village. Commander Johnson said you should read it. It's about the Sonarte. Show it to me! He grabs it out of your hands and starts reading it. You wait an hour. Yes! Here is described how the Sonarte are made. The place where they do it is under the ruined castle of Thralny. Oh, I hope Thralny isn't going to do something stupid. Under the ruined castle of Thralny. Okay. The quest was added to our list. Get the important book. Which is in the Sonarte fort somewhere. Ah, hello. I uh, can't take anything from it because people would see us. A pity. Alright, let's see. What's this? Alfred's rather stupid supplies. When you open the door, a nice bell sound introduces new customers. A happy long man stands at the counter. He smiles when he sees you. I'm Alfron. I have some useless supplies for you. Can you tell us about this place? If you want me to, sure. The city is very old. Not as old as Varton, but still very old. More about this place I don't know. She seems a bit embarrassed. What other services do you provide? Well, my supplies shop, of course. But I could also give you advice. But it'll cost 30 coins. Give us your advice. Drink a lot, eat enough, and don't go south. Why shouldn't we go south? That is where the Sonate have their fault. More advice I don't have for you. Alright, what supplies? Aside from the lockpicks, yeah, those are useless supplies. Right, the lock. Yeah, I can't really take anything from in here, I think. Bart Smithy. Ooh. A heavily built man is hammering with a hammer on something sword-like. When he finally sees you, he stands up from his work and walks over to you. What can I do for you lots? What services do you provide? I'm a full-time smith. Welcome to my humble smithy. You look around only to see black and depressing walls and a dead plan in the corner. Of course, it's because I'm working all the time, I don't really get the time to clean the place. He shrugs and coughs. You can see, he feels a bit embarrassed. We'd like to buy some weapons and maybe sell some. Sell that, I guess. Nothing we need. Okay, then. So, are there much people who buy weapons these days? Shaking his head, he takes his hammer. Could have been better. 
Not so much people come to this province because of a Sinarti. They scare people away. Who are the Sinarti? Evil big sort of cats. Bigger than the film and nearer than the film. Flanagan, the Barrys wizard, he will tell you more about them. I really think you should see him. He knows quite something about the Sinarti. So where do people go? He thinks for a while. Well, usually to places like Fulton. The Filberton people go too, although not too often. Well, I have to go back to work. Nice touch chatting with you folks. He stands up and walks back to his anvil. Alright then. Another hidden room. We can't take anything out of I like the idea of these hidden rooms that these guys have. When you stand a little closer to this door and hold your ear against it, you think you can hear screaming and crying. A pink sort of fog comes out of the keyhole. Strange. Looks as if I... It looks as this house is somewhat different than the rest you have seen until now. Not only is it quite grim, the floor is laid with black tiles and a marble altar stands at the east wall. When you get a bit closer, you also see three angry priests and magi looking at you. They were busy with a ceremony which you intruded upon during the most important part. Lucky you! Oh goody. Well, that happened. I don't think they're very pleased about that. But at least we stopped something very bad from happening. Nothing in here, really. Hey, let's take a look in here at Cult of the Sacred Stone. Oh, a cult. Before you stands a priestess. Her long blonde hair can be seen under the robe she wears. Hi, I'm Jeanette. What can I do for you? What can you offer us? Well, you can pray at my newly polished shrine, or I could identify some of your items. Sure you don't want to pray? No, we want identification. Alright, but I wouldn't like to do it. Blessed great sir. How old is this beautiful temple? Well, it's a very old temple. My mother, grandmother, and even my grandfather were priests here. Can you tell us more about the temple? Well, actually, you'd better speak to Mother Erica about it. She knows more about the history. She is at the offering site. Offering site. Yay. Can you tell us more about the temple? Well, of course. It's mine. How do you mean it's yours? So who is the other priestess in the temple? That is my daughter. The temple itself was built as one of the first buildings in the city. You spend a long time listening to the history of the temple. After several hours, she notices you're asleep. She wakes you up. I see it doesn't really interest you. Pity. Do you want to know something else? Cat. Um... Apparently we can buy things from a cat. This woman is very busy maintaining the crops. These small fields of wheat are the main source of food for the small town. Without it, it may die out very soon. We leave the woman to her work. Only really one area to look at left. And that's all the buildings down in here. Ah, this is basically the inn. When you enter the inn, a depressed man looks at you from the counter. It's probably the bartender. You quickly see what's wrong. The inn is very, very quiet. You step into the inn. A man stands behind the counter. He looks depressed. What can you offer us? He gives you a depressed look. Food or room? Wait, sorry, don't have food anymore. We want a place to sleep. Sure, 20 coins in ice room, 15 coins ugly room, and terrible room, 5 coins. <sighs> no thank you, we don't want to stay. He stares disappointedly at the floor. I knew it. No normal travelers want to stay at my inn. After saying that, you quickly end the conversation and go away. What's the matter? You look very depressed. Nobody comes to my inn. You turn around and see an empty inn behind you. I think I'm... There's a room. That's a nice room. That's a room. 
Giant spider is now dead. That happened. Okay. The race is bed and breakfast. Please go to office first. The race is bed and breakfast in office. You meet a young, good-looking woman. She sits behind the table. She smiles. Welcome at my bed and breakfast. I'm Clarice. How fares this bed and breakfast? In general, it's better than that inn, but lately the customers stay away. How are your rooms? Much better than the ones at the inn. You didn't sleep in the terrible room of the inn, did you? No, we didn't. Why? The giant spider's in there. It's not safe. It's about the room. A room is ten coins. We'd like to take a room. That'll be ten coins. You give her the money. The room is to be reached via a door outside. Just go immediately to the right and follow the path to the right. And we're already here. Okay. That happened. Go your little bed and breakfast. Looks like that is pretty much about it in this place. Interesting little town. Kind of, sort of got a quest. I guess... We probably should now head to, uh, head to the capital. That's probably where all the quests and such are, so we'll do just that. In fact, I'll run and stop right outside the capital, so we can go in. As for how this is so far... It's okay. It's kind of interesting. I'm curious what's going to happen, but... There were a lot of grammatical errors and spelling errors in Pleasantville. Uh, may, quality may be a little lower than the previous areas, uh, uh, previous scenarios. I don't know, we'll see. Could do with a go-over by an editor. Anyway, next episode, we'll take a look in Vaughton. Till then, uh, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.